Today is the day that we are gonna do something insane. We are gonna board off an active volcano. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. As you might know, we are traveling full time the world and now we are doing a Central American tour. We are at the moment in Nicaragua and if there is one thing that has fascinated us since the time we entered this continent is the amount of the different volcanoes and different types of volcanoes that are here. Yeah, we really, really love it. We can't, we don't get bored of them. And when we were in Guatemala, we saw a fuego volcano erupting every few minutes, and this still has made a big impression on us. But today, we are gonna finally hike up a volcano together. We're going to the Cerro Negro volcano, and we're gonna board off of it, which is really insane. So to get there, we are now in Las Penitas at the beach, and yeah, we have to take a local bus from here to Leon, and that's where our tour starts. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Good morning. So we drive about 45 minutes to the volcano, okay? And then uh, we walk about the same, about 45 to the very top. And then uh, we all got together from our friend from Greece to a friend from, uh, I think it's Germany, right? No, we from? England. England. Oh, my mistake. England. <laughs> hey, they're gonna win the Euro. Uh, it's not coming home. It's not coming home. It's not coming fucking home. It's not. <laughs> Hopefully not. And uh, but yeah, guys. So we uh, we all go together, and we all go up together, and then we come back down. Not together, but uh, hopefully we'll come back down. <laughs> okay, we're all ready, and um, we're gonna go into this truck with the whole group. Yes. So let's go. Jeff, are you ready, buddy? Let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the road to get here was so beautiful. Like we left the city and we went on these really dark black dirt roads. Um, seeing the countryside of Nicaragua, really, really nice. Now we're almost at the foot of the volcano. We were super excited. We took a quick break here. Um, and yeah, we're gonna continue a bit more and then we're gonna hike up. Also here with a really international group of people, really nice. So nice because while traveling during COVID, we haven't met as many people as normally. So yes. it's fun, right? To see. Yes. And they're all so cool people, so. Yeah. All crazy like us. <laughs> Adventurous. Adventurous, yeah. Okay, we have arrived. Just look at this behind us. It's so cool. It's so black, too. It looks kind of dangerous. Um, yeah, we were in the car and we were talking about if we were scared said no not at all and now if i see it from here it does look really really <laughs> steep to go down really yeah yeah but we are very excited yes wow 
such a contrast, right? The green and the black. Yes. Yeah, it's like it's really like dead and alive. Kind yeah. Of. Wow, look at this. This is so cool already. I mean, this is from lava, right? You can. Literally. Half black, half green. Okay, so we just want to give you some information on where we actually are before we go all the way up. Um, we are at Cerro Negro Volcano, which is one of Nicaragua's 19 volcanoes. But this volcano behind us is the youngest in all of Central America. It only appeared in 1850, which is actually really, really recent. It has also been super active. It's a really active volcano. It has been erupting like 23 times ever since. And at the moment, the last eruption was in 1999 and it's already far overdue. So it literally could erupt any moment now, <laughs> which is, quite a crazy idea that we're gonna hike up a volcano, volcano that could just erupt any moment. Whew. It's very impressive. Okay guys, I have to tell you something. Actually, I'm not the person who traveled the most in his life. And then I met this crazy girl. She was always telling me stories about places around the world that she visited. And I was always excited to travel, to see places, to experience new things. And now, three months later, actually, after uh, traveling in Mexico, Guatemala, uh, Salvador, Honduras. We are now in Nicaragua and we are on top of a volcano, of an active volcano. Me and this That's crazy insane. girl. And I not only that, like we are going to like board off this volcano and this is the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. Even more amazing than skydiving. I want to say, this is a skydiver speaking. We <laughs> jumped out of an airplane over 120 times. Yeah, but skydive, <laughs> you can do all over the world. Yeah. Well, right. actually, like volcano boarding, you can do only in two places. Here, in Nicaragua, and in Chile. If you look that way, you have Honduras, and behind there, Guatemala. And actually, this is... The volcanic arc. Central yeah. America volcanic arc. Yeah, so basically if you keep going straight, you will only find volcanoes. Volcanoes, yes. With uh, the highest one in Guatemala. The time has come. 
this is the moment after hiking up some fun up here it's now time to go down and when I look down I am getting a little bit nervous now because it looks so steep but then I just remind myself that there are so many people or so many there are quite a lot of tourists who did this people who do did this tour before so then we should be able to do it too yes man we will be fine <laughs> yeah wow. let's do it Amazing. Oh, that was really cool. At first I went slow and then I said, fuck it. First I went slow and then I said, fuck it. Put those feet up, lean back and... Nice. Eh? Yeah. What a cool experience. So, we did it. Wow, well, I'm so happy that we came. I'm sad I couldn't see you though. Uh, but well, I was like a flash. Nobody saw me. You went very fast, straight from the beginning. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh, that's it. That's really ba That's really unique. Maybe this was just a once in our lifetime, you know? Yeah. So cool. Wow, guys, volcano boarding. That was such an amazing experience. It was so much adrenaline. Um, we both really, really loved it. But when we came down, we were so excited and kind of exhausted too from all the sun. And we quickly had to get on the truck to go home with the group. Uh, so we completely forgot to film and just close this video. So yeah, we want to say that this was really a unique experience, something that we really wanted to do. And I'm really curious, like if you would do something like that too, would you go volcano boarding up, like on this little board off of a volcano? Uh, let us know in the comments and yeah thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video bye